In computer graphics, a digital differential analyzer is hardware or software used for linear interpolation of variables over an interval between start and end point. DDAs are used for rasterization of lines, triangles and polygons. In its simplest implementation, the DDA algorithm interpolates values in interval by computing for each psi the equation psi equals xi 1 plus 1 per meter, yi equals a r 1 plus m, where i x equals xenda x s t a r t and i y equals yen and start and m equals i y i x. Performance The DDA method can be implemented using floating point or integer arithmetic. The native floating point implementation requires one addition and one rounding operation per interpolated value and output result. This process is only efficient when an FPU with fast add and rounding operation will be available. The fixed point integer operation requires two additions per output cycle, and in case of fractional part overflow, one additional increment and subtraction. The probability of fractional part overflows is proportional to the ratio m of the interpolated start end values. DDAs are well suited for hardware implementation and can be pipelined for maximized throughput. This slope can be expressed in DDA as where m represents the slope of the line and c is the y-intercept. In fact any two consecutive point, x, y, lying on this line segment should satisfy the equation. Algorithm. The DDA starts by calculating the smaller of dy or dx for a unit increment of the other. A line is then sampled at unit intervals in one coordinate and corresponding integer values nearest the line path are determined for the other coordinate. Considering a line with positive slope, if the slope is less than or equal to 1, we sample at unit x intervals and compute successive y values as. Subscript k takes integer values starting from 0. For the first point and increases by 1 until end point is reached. Y value is rounded off to nearest integer to correspond to a screen pixel. For lines with slope greater than 1, we reverse the role of X and Y that is we sample at dy equals 1 and calculate consecutive X values as. Similar calculations are carried out to determine pixel positions along a line with negative slope. Thus, if the absolute value of the slope is less than 1, we set dx equals 1 if that is the starting extreme point is at the left. See also, Breesenum's line algorithm is an algorithm for line rendering. Xialin Wu's line algorithm is an algorithm for line anti-aliasing. References Alan Watt, 3D Computer Graphics, 3rd edition 2000, pages 184. ISBN 0-201-39855-9.